Okay guys, before you get started, make sure you have a good read of our woodworking safety sheet. Uh, loads of good info on there, so make sure you do that. To build your character, you will need a hammer to hammer in the dowels. A mallet is fine, or a little hammer like this, any hammer you've got is totally fine. Um, a pair of pliers like these are also handy for working with wires because you can cut little bits off like that or you can use it to bend it or even push the wires in if there's a hole on your character. So that's that. Um, and the other thing you could do is just a little block of wood like this to use as a sanding block uh, to wrap the sandpaper around to make sanding easier. We include these fantastic glue dots in all of our packs and these are great for sticking on nuts and bolts and hair and all that kind of stuff to the characters. But of course other glues are available. You could use a glue gun or some craft PVA or proper wood glue um, or if an adult's doing it then super glue as well. Any of those will do. And finally, if you want to add colour to your character, we can highly recommend these little brine paint sticks. They're fab. Uh, acrylic paints are brilliant too. Or of course, you can just use some Sharpies as well. So if you need any of these things, pause the video now and go and get them. Okay, so what's in the box? If you lay everything out in front of you, you will find your accessories pack, you've got your maker instructions here, you've got your sandpaper and you've got your glue dots. Then the queen kit is the head, the body, the two arms, uh, the feet components here, the little handbag, and then we've got the longer dowels for the head and the shorter dowels is for the arms. Finally, we've got our beautiful crown. And then over on this side, this is all your corgi components. So we've got the head, the body, the four legs, um, some buttons for his, uh, for his nose and eyes, uh, the dowels that you need, the tail, the face part and the two ears. So make sure you've got all those components before you start. So next step we're going to cover sanding. Well why do we sand? Well you can see these blocks here have uh, little bits of kind of splinters I suppose hanging over the edge and first of all we want to take those off so we don't give ourselves any splinters. Um, secondly we want to make it look nice and the, the more you sand it the smoother it gets and the nicer it looks. Um, finally uh, this sharp edge here where it's been cut with a saw this edge here is called the aris and we want to take the aris off because that stops the wood from being split accidentally by knocking it or something like that. So when it comes to sanding there's lots of different ways that you can do it but one of the easiest ways is just to put the sandpaper on your bench in front of you and rub the block on that to get it nice and smooth like so. Another way you can do it is just by holding the sandpaper in your hand and doing this. Um, but a good thing is if you have got a sanding block to hand then use this, wrap it around the block like so, so it's nice and tight and then you've got something good to sand against and then you can go ahead and sand your character. So the next thing to note is that uh, the lines running down your piece of wood, they're called the grain. And if we sand across the grain like this, um, we can actually put tiny scratches all the way across and you'll be able to see those. Um, so as a general rule, we like to sand with the grain. So that means with the lines like this. And on the end of the piece of wood, that's called the end grain, you can see it's kind of a diagonal. So that's how we'll need to sand it, at a diagonal like this, okay? Okay, that covers sanding. So before you start your project, you want to make sure everything is fully sanded, including the dowels, even little splinters on the end of the dowels, just really gently take the edge of those off so they're nice and ready to go as well. Once you've got all of your components sanded, we'll see you on the next step. Okay then, so let's get building our queen kit. So you can see we've got all the components out in front of us here, but I'm gonna start um, with sticking on her dress components here. Now you see these go on like this so that they're flat at the bottom. You don't wanna get them the wrong way around so that they're like that. Oh, so that they are like that, I should say, okay? So you want it this way around. So I'm just gonna do that with some glue dots. So we just tear off one of the glue dots like this, take a couple off and then peel back the paper like so and then I'm going to stick it on the side like this and that's one on there. Now you can use two of these if you want to, you don't, it doesn't have to be one um, but I'm just going to use one for this so okay pop it on there, give it a push and there you go that's the side of her dress on. Now we do the other side. Okay, make sure you go the right way around, like so, 
there we go that's her dress sides on so next i want to do her arms which go in these holes here so i'm going to get the two shorter dowels here and i'm going to put them into the arms first now this is quite important that you do it this way round okay so let's do that little tap of the hammer okay and then listen for the sound changing there you go when the sound changes you know you've got all the way through to the other side okay same for this one there you go nearly there okay and that's gone all the way through to the other side like that so now we're going to attach those to her body now you should just be able to push and twist these in but if it's a bit tight you can just hit them with a hammer okay and i put them the wrong way around so let's do it that way you've got to make sure that the hole is facing up on this one and then this part is facing up on this one so she can hold her handbag at the end so push and twist those on and then it's got a pop it on there actually okay and that's it there you go she's got her arms on so next let's move on to the head and i'm going to put the dowel into the head component like so give it a tap that's it and did you hear the sound change it means it's gone all the way in and we're going to put that onto her body like this push and twist push and twist okay here we go and our queen's coming together already so next we want to attach her feet and we've got this block at the back here and we've got her two little feet like this so i think the best way to do this is actually if you put her like this so let's get some glue dots i'm going to put a couple of glue dots on the uh back block here now there are two blocks that are the same one of them's got two holes in that's for the handbag so don't uh, don't get them confused for this push those on peel it back like so now we want to put that all the way to the back of her body like this okay and then just push it down like that Okay, so that's that stuck on. Now we need to stick her feet on, or her shoes. So we need another couple of glue dots for that. Now I'm gonna stick these ones onto the feet themselves. So just get the glue so it sticks to that part there. Okay, so that's one. And then I'm gonna prepare the other one so I can stick them both on at the same time. okay there we go that's two feet stuck on there so let's just line that up with that you want them to be nice and in the middle and that one there so i need to go over a tiny bit before i really push them hard and that's it they're in the right position so there we go queen with her lovely feet and she should stand up now which she does that's great okay so next then we want to move on to making her handbag so you see you've got this aluminium wire here let's move this stuff out of the way so we've got this aluminium wire here now i think this will be too long but what we want to do is first of all pliers have a holding part here and a cutting part here so we put the wire into the holding part leaving just a little bit sticking out you don't want a lot and then we're going to get it onto the handbag and we're going to push and twist push and twist and then keep pushing keep pushing until it goes all the way down to the bottom and then you'll see it holds on there just from friction now we want the handle to be fairly big so it fits over her arm here um, so i'm going to put a bend in it maybe about here and i think it's just a tiny bit too long there so i'm just going to cut off just a little bit using the cutter part of the pliers so give it a squeeze and a wiggle there we go and then i'm going to put this bit into the other hole like so i'm going to try and push it in a little bit and then use the pliers then to push it all the way in now you see the handle looks like it's a bit too big but actually you need it to be nice and big so that it fits over her arm like that okay so that's the handbag done we'll put that to one side so next it's onto the really fun bit which is all of the accessories so if we uh open up our accessories tip those out on your table we have got loads of really cool stuff now things can get stuck in the bottom of these bags so just make sure that you tip them all out properly okay i'm going to sort this out and be right back 
Okay, then I've sorted out my accessories here. So I've got all the hair curls here. I've got all sorts of different things you can use for eyes. We've got the queen glasses. These are 3D printed right here in the workshop and sometimes they have little stringy bits. If they do, you could just pick them off or even get a craft knife and just uh, uh, cut them off if you need to. Uh, we've got the thingy for the corgi as well. And then we've got the flag there. So let's move on. So first of all then, I'm gonna stick her glasses on, okay? And we want to get those kind of around about this position here. So we need to get some glue dots um, and put those in the right position. Now the great thing about glue dots is you can stick them as we've already shown, um, but you can also, if you're careful with them, look, you can peel them off like this and they're kind of stretchy. And then I can put them on the back of her glasses here and make them just a little bit thinner. Now this is tricky to do, okay? But you will see, now you can hardly see the glue dots behind it. So I'm gonna put that on there like that and then give it a push down. There we go, and that's her glasses in position. Are they a bit wonky? No, they're okay. Now I'm gonna use these two little polymer beads I've got here for her eyes, because I like that. Um, but don't forget, you can use anything you've got here, um, whichever you prefer. Okay then, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm actually going to peel off the glue dot like this, and then I'm gonna just rip it in half, and then I'm gonna use a little bit for the back of this eye here, and stick that in position. Now I think that's gonna look good kind of about there. Of course, if you find this too fiddly with the glue dots, you can always use PVA or even super glue, anything like that would be fine, or a glue gun. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this eye on here. Now I think that's about right. She looks a little bit googly, but I kind of like her like that, so I'm gonna leave it. Okay, fab, and then I want to make a little smile. So I can use these wires here. So what color smile should I go for, black or gold? I think gold's a bit more regal. I'm gonna go for gold. So the best way to make a smile, I think, is if you use your uh, two thumbs like this, then we're gonna bend the wire to get a nice tight little smile. I want a small smile. And then we've got a nice little curve here. And then I'm gonna use the cutter parts of my pliers. You can use a pair of scissors for this, by the way, if you don't have pliers. Squeeze and wiggle. And then cut the other side off. Squeeze and wiggle. And there we go, look, I've got a nice little smile. So guess what, we need another glue dot. I'm gonna put one of those on here. And again, I'm gonna stretch this one out. I'm gonna peel it off at the back like this. And then I'm gonna try and stretch it and put it across the whole thing. So try and do it a bit like this. Again, it's pretty tricky, this part, but there you go, that should do it. And then I'm gonna put her smile into position. Oh, she's a very, very happy queen. Well, she would be on her Jubilee, wouldn't she, hey? Okay, there we go. So she's got a smile on. Now next, I want to add like a little brooch, I think, because I think the queen always wears a brooch and I've got the perfect accessory just here for that. So for this one, I am gonna move her arms down and I'm gonna put it right onto her chest here where she might wear a brooch. Push that on like that, peel it away and then put this thing on here. There we go. Oh, doesn't she look pretty? <laughs> now, of course, you could use any of the other things you've got here, maybe even a gold star. You could put buttons down her front, however you want to do it. So you just uh, go to town with it. So the next part now is to put her crown in position. So I'm gonna turn her this way up. Now, I better just check our camera is focused properly. So I'm just gonna have a quick go at this. Okay, hopefully be focused around here. So now what I think we should do here is put the crown on first. Now be very careful with this crown because they do break easily, okay? So try not to drop them or anything like that. So I'm gonna put it in this position here. So I just want some glue dots in and around there. So I'm basically gonna put glue dots all over Queenie's head and down the side so we can stick on all these curls for her hair. So I'm gonna get a good few glue dots here. Um, and I will do this at speed and come back to you in a second. Okay, so I've stuck, I think I put eight on her head there um, so that we can get so we can get a start with the hair and then we want to put her crown on. So I'm gonna place her crown with uh, one of the points of her crown facing forward in just the right place. Where do we think? Maybe about there. Oh yes, yeah, she looks very royal now, doesn't she? 
Okay, so from this point, we want to put hair on. So I'm gonna do the top part first, and then I'm gonna work on the side. Um, I think you need nice tight curls like this, but if you want them a bit bunchy, just unroll them a bit, and then roll them back up, and they'll get a bit bunchy, kind of like this. And then I'm gonna put one of them in here, like so, and just push that down. And then I'm gonna get another one, maybe a slightly bigger one. I'm gonna pop that in there. Hopefully that will fit for me. Brilliant stuff. And then I want some on the side here. Brilliant, that's that one. And then maybe on this side here too. So I'm pop one on there. Great. Okay, so now we want to add a little bit more definition and we're gonna add some more glue dots all the way around. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so I put some on the side here. Now I'm gonna add some more hair to our queenie here. Okay, fab, that's that side. She's looking great already. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay then, so how is she looking? She's looking very queenie now, isn't she? Uh, I think we need a couple more curls over the top here to finish her off. So if you want to do that, then I think you get your glue dot and put it onto the hair curl itself and then you can stick it where you want it. So if we go for maybe a curly one like this, I'm just gonna put it on that part there. And it's pretty tricky doing this, but make sure it's on there and then just peel it away gently. Okay, and then I can stick that there in the middle. There you go, and then maybe one more on this side, and I think I'll call mine done, but of course you can um, go to town with this. And don't forget as well, you can use PVA. PVA actually works really well with this, rather than having to peel off a, a million glue dots. Uh, if you just put a little bit on, it'll, um, it, it will set really quickly, and then you'll be able to get the job done nice and quick. Okay. Okay, one more little curl just there. Okay then, I think she's looking fab, don't you? Oh, her glasses have gone a bit wonky, let's just straighten those back up. Okay, fantastic. So, all we need to do from this part here is put the flag into her arm, which we're gonna put there, like so, and then we put her handbag on. Put this on like this, and then she's holding her handbag. What do you think, huh? I think she looks very regal. So I'm just gonna put her over to one side, and we'll move on to the corgi. Okay then, so straight on to the corgi. Same rules apply, the smaller dowels here, they go into the legs. So I'm gonna start with hammering those in. I'm gonna put it over the hole, gentle hammer, and then a bit harder till it's gone all the way through. Get all four of those in those holes there. Okay, that's the four legs, and they're gonna go into the body here. So I'm gonna put that in there like that. Push and twist, push and twist push and twist, and push and twist, and then give it a tap. Turn it over, give it a tap from the other side. Okay, great, and your corgi legs are on there nice and tight, that's just what we want. Perfect, so next let's do the head then. So the longer dowel here, that is for the head, so we'll pop it in here, and tap, tap, tap. Make sure you hear the sound so it's gone all the way in, and then push and twist. And here we go, that's Corgi with his head on. Great, so we're straight on to now, getting some glue dots, I'm gonna put their ears on, and they go like this. So I'm gonna get a couple of glue dots and sort that out first. So let's tear those off. Okay, so we're gonna put the glue dot over his ear there, fold it over so it goes halfway over either side. Okay, and then peel it back. And hopefully you can see that it goes all the way over. And then you'll see, look, we can put his ear on just like that. And that's one of his ears. Okay, then we will um, get another glue dot like this. Put it on the other side. And again, half and half over like so. and then try and peel that off without pulling it off again. Okay, fab, and that's his other ear. So let's get that on there like so. 
And there we go, that's our corgi ears in place. So next we need to add a face of our old corgi like this, don't we? So we're gonna put this just about here. So again, another glue dot. You can use one or two for this, whichever you prefer. Do you know what, I am gonna go with two glue dots. I'm gonna put one on one side, one on the other. Give it a bit of extra stick. Okay, so I just want to go up a tiny bit from the bottom and try and get it equal in the middle, side to side. And there we go, that's his little nose on there, okay? So from here then, we want to stick a button on for his nose. I've got all these buttons I can choose from. You could choose one like this if you wanted to. You could choose a little black button like that. Um, but I'm gonna go with this little black button. So let's stick that in position with another little glue dot. And I'm gonna peel this one off because it's slightly bigger than the button itself. And then that way I can just place it on the back. Hopefully you can see that there. Okay, and if you've got a little bit of excess, you can actually just snap it off and get rid of it. Put it out of the way. Okay then, so let's put that in position there. Get it nice and central. If you've got any excess sticking out like I have, just pick it off and pull it away. Okay, there we go, that's his nose done. So next then we're gonna move on to his eyes. Again, you can use any of this stuff for his eyes, but I'm gonna go for these little tiny blocks here. Now, a little tip here, uh, the, cl the closer the eyes are together, the kind of cuter he looks, okay? So, let's go, I think about there, don't you? Yeah, let's go there, okay. So, same trick as before, peel the glue dot off. Put it onto the back like so. And then if you've got any excess, just rip it off and stick that in position. Same on the other eye, I'm gonna use the other half of the same glue dot. Great, and put that in position like that. Yeah, I think he looks pretty cute. Now push them down nice and hard, and then it gets them flat against a piece of wood. Make sure they're lined up. And brilliant, that is our corgi there. So what we need to do now then is we need to put a tail on him. Okay, and you'll see he's got a hole here. And what we're gonna do is just slide this tail in. So I suggest you slide the tail in like so. Slide it all the way in and then bend it down and then cut it off to the right length. Now corgis have nice short tails, don't they? So let's just cut it maybe about here using our wire cutters. Again, you could use, um, you could use scissors for this if you wanted to. So there we go, that's his little tail in position. And next we want to do his collar. So uh, we've got this excellent pipe cleaner here. We're gonna slide that through his collar, which says ER on it. Elizabeth Reigns. Okay, and we're gonna wrap that round like this. So make sure that we've got enough um, uh, that you can make sure you've done this fold at the front here because otherwise it will sit twisted so I've kind of pushed the wire all the way around before I attach it now then I'm just going to pull the corgi's head back a little bit and that's going to allow me to get this around the back here okay so you can either tie it together first or you can do it when it's on the corgi like so pull it up a little bit give it a little twist okay and then I'm just going to pull it forward a tiny bit and fold it down the front hopefully you can see that there Fold it down the front, and then you can cut off these excess wires at the back here, like so. So I'm just gonna pull his head off completely because that's gonna make life a bit easier for me. Give it a cut like this, and here we go, that's his collar there. Put it back over the dowel here, and put the head back on, push and twist to get it down in position. And then we're gonna pull that down so it sits down at the front like this. And there we go, one corgi. Now, if you want to, you can add little bits inside his ears, you can color him, you can do all sorts of things, whatever you want to do. You've got all these ex extra accessories here you can stick on too, but that is our Corgi kit. And add him to the Queen kit as well. And look, we've got an absolutely awesome Queen and Corgi kit. She's still got wonky glasses though, we've got to straighten that out, haven't we? Okay, that's it, absolutely fantastic. I hope you have great fun and take care, bye-bye.